Did you know Hollywood loved Sammy Davis Jr. until he dated a white movie star Kim Novak? Sammy Davis Jr. overcame prevailing racism to establish himself as an entertainment legend, becoming a successful comedian, actor, dancer, and singer. Sammy Davis Jr. is considered by many to have been the world's greatest entertainer. He recorded over 50 albums and had a Billboard number one hit, The Candy Men, in 1972, headlined three shows on Broadway, Mr. Wonderful, Golden Boy and Stop the World, and was a core member of the famed Rat Pack, alongside Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. So, if you're a Sammy Davis Jr. fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. How was Sammy Davis Jr. early life alike? Samuel George Davis Jr. came into this world on December 8, 1925, in the vibrant Harlem district of New York City. In his early years, he was primarily cared for by his paternal grandmother. However, when he was just three years old, his parents separated, and he began residing with his father, who was actively involved in the world of entertainment as a member of a dance troupe. How he got into music industry. As his father and adopted uncle embarked on their touring adventures, young Davis was brought along for the journey. It was during this time that he discovered his talent for tap dancing, and the three of them began performing together, eventually earning the moniker of the Wilmaston Trio. Due to their constant travels, Davis missed out on a formal education. However, his father occasionally arranged for tutors while they were on the road. Throughout their journeys in the 1930s, the young Davis not only honed his skills as a dancer but also developed into a proficient singer, multi-instrumentalist, and comedian, quickly becoming the star of their performances. Additionally, Davis made his debut in the world of cinema during this period, showcasing his dancing abilities in the 1933 short film titled, Rufus Jones for President. In 1943, during the peak of World War II, Samuel George Davis Jr.'s career took an abrupt pause when he was conscripted into the army. While in the military, he confronted severe racial prejudice, an experience he had been shielded from by his father before. Davis endured persistent harassment and physical abuse from white soldiers, including an incident where his fellow servicemen broke his nose. Nonetheless, he eventually sought solace in an entertainment unit within the military. How he rose to fame. Following the end of his military service, Davis made a triumphant return to the world of showbiz. He continued to be the central attraction of the Wilmaston Trio while simultaneously venturing into solo endeavors, captivating audiences with his singing in nightclubs and recording music. His career took a significant upturn in 1947 when the trio had the opportunity to open for Frank Sinatra at New York's Capitol Theater, a moment that marked the beginning of a lifelong friendship and collaboration between Davis and Sinatra. Subsequently, Davis embarked on a tour with Mickey Rooney, and his talents shone in a performance that caught the attention of Decca Records. This led to Davis signing a recording contract with Decca in 1954. Did he lose one of his eyes? Later in that same year, while en route to Los Angeles for a soundtrack recording, Davis suffered a grave car accident that left him with severe injuries. This tragic incident led to the loss of one of his eyes, and for the majority of his life, he would rely on a glass eye. During his recovery period, Davis had ample time for introspection and soul-searching. It was during this time that he made the decision to convert to Judaism. He found a profound connection between the historical oppressions endured by African-American and Jewish communities, which played a significant role in his spiritual journey. What were biggest songs from Sammy Davis Jr.? Sammy Davis Jr. had a prolific career with numerous hit songs, and some of his biggest and most popular ones include. 1. The Candy Men, this song, released in 1972, became one of Sammy Davis Jr.'s signature tunes and a massive hit. It reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. 2. Mr. Bojangles, originally written by Jerry Jeff Walker, Sammy Davis Jr.'s rendition of this song in 1970 became one of his most iconic performances. 3. I've Gotta Be Me, released in 1968, this song became closely associated with Davis and is often considered an anthem of self-expression and individuality. 4. What Kind of Fool Am I? From the musical, Stop the World, I Want to Get Off, this song won Sammy Davis Jr. a Grammy Award for Song of the Year in 1963. 5. The Birth of the Blues, this classic song, recorded by Davis, showcases his exceptional singing and showmanship skills. 6. Love Me or Leave Me, another memorable song from his repertoire, Sammy Davis Jr. brought his unique style to this jazz standard. 7. That Old Black Magic, his rendition of this song is highly regarded and is often associated with his performances. 8. Hey There, 
From the musical, The Pajama Game, Davis's version of this song is a standout in his discography. What were biggest shows and film from Sammy Davis Jr.? Sammy Davis Jr. had a multifaceted career that included appearances in various shows and films. Some of his biggest and most notable ones include Shows 1. The Wilmaston Trio While not a traditional show, the trio with his father and adopted uncle was the foundation of his career, and they performed in various venues and on television. 2. Mr. Wonderful This was a Broadway musical in which Sammy Davis Jr. starred in 1956. It featured some of his popular songs. 3. Sammy Davis Jr. in Frankfurt, a legendary concert in Frankfurt, Germany, in 1960, where he showcased his immense talent as a singer, dancer, and entertainer. 4. Sammy Davis Jr. at the Sands, his performances at the Sands Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas during the 1960s became legendary and were captured in a live recording. 5. The Sammy Davis Jr. Show, a television variety show that aired in the early 1960s, showcasing his singing and dancing talents along with guest stars. Films 1. Rufus Jones for President, 1933 This was his debut film appearance, where he showcased his dancing skills at a young age. 2. Anna Lacasta, 1958 Davis appeared in this drama film, which was based on the play of the same name. 3. Ocean's Eleven, 1960 He had a prominent role in this classic heist film alongside other Hollywood legends like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. 4. Porgy and Bess, 1959 Davis played the role of Sportin Life in this film adaptation of the famous opera. 5. Robin and the Seven Hoods, 1964 He starred in this musical comedy alongside Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. 6. Sweet Charity, 1969 Davis had a memorable role in this musical film. 7. Tap, 1989 In one of his later film appearances, Davis showcased his tap dancing skills alongside other renowned tap dancers. Who was Sammy Davis Jr. married to? Kim Novak. During the 1950s, Sammy Davis Jr. had a significant romantic involvement with the famous actress Kim Novak. Their relationship, however, encountered substantial challenges and harassment due to the racial tensions prevalent during that era. Loray White. The fear of perceived cabals led Sammy Davis Jr. to devise a strategy, he decided to marry his former lover, Loray White. Loray White, a black singer, had previously gone on a few dates with the entertainer. She agreed to the marriage, apparently after receiving a substantial sum, which sources suggest was between $10,000 to $25,000. During the wedding ceremony, Loray White played along, but what followed was a troubled and unhappy situation. Davis, overwhelmed by his emotions and perhaps the effects of alcohol, reportedly attempted to strangle his new bride while they were on their way to their hotel for what was supposed to be their honeymoon. In just a matter of months, the charade became untenable, and news of their divorce became public. This was indeed a very short-lived and tumultuous marriage for the two individuals involved. May Britt Following this, he married May Britt in 1960, and the couple had a biological daughter and two adopted sons during their time together. However, their marriage came to an end by the close of the decade. May Britt, a Swedish actress, indeed married Sammy Davis Jr. in 1960. Their marriage was highly controversial at the time, primarily due to the prevailing racial attitudes and laws in the United States. Interracial marriage was still prohibited by law in 31 states, which made their union a subject of public scrutiny and discrimination. May Britt's acting career did experience a pause during her marriage to Sammy Davis Jr., and their relationship faced significant challenges because of the racial climate of the era. Their marriage was a notable milestone in the ongoing struggle for civil rights and the fight against racial discrimination. Alto Vice Gore In 1970, Sammy Davis Jr. entered into his third and final marriage with dancer Alto Vice Gore. This marriage endured until his passing, and they also adopted another son, expanding their family further. Alto Vice Davis died after battling a stroke in 2009. She was dedicated to acting and singing too. Tracy Davis, the daughter of Sammy Davis Jr. and actress Mae Britt. She died on November 2020 in Franklin, Tennessee, after a brief illness. Tracy Davis was 59 years old at the time of her passing. How Davis died. Sammy Davis Jr.'s heavy smoking and alcohol consumption took a toll on his health. He was diagnosed with throat cancer in his early 60s, and sadly, he passed away on May 16, 1990, at the age of 64. His Legacy Sammy Davis Jr.'s public image often projected a carefree playboy lifestyle, but beneath the surface, 
his life had been marked by enduring racial prejudice. This personal experience drove him to leverage his fame for political and social causes. In the 1960s, he became actively involved in the civil rights movement, making significant contributions. He notably participated in the historic 1963 March on Washington, a pivotal event in the civil rights struggle. Davis also took a principled stand against racial segregation by refusing to perform at racially segregated nightclubs, a courageous move that contributed to the integration of venues in Las Vegas and Miami Beach. His actions in challenging the bigotry of the era were impactful, and he played a role in breaking down racial barriers. Furthermore, Davis's marriage to Swedish actress Mae Britt was a powerful statement in itself. At that time, interracial marriages were forbidden by law in 31 states, making their union a bold and controversial act. Sammy Davis Jr.'s commitment to civil rights and his willingness to use his platform to advocate for equality left a lasting legacy beyond his entertainment career.